President Biden dropped in virtually to speak at the National Action Network convention today. And CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell says that beyond trying to woo the black vote, the president pledged support and expressed pride in promises kept. This annual gathering doesn't just bring together the black community to discuss the unique challenges we face. It attracts the national attention needed to achieve solutions. The racial wealth gap is closed the most in 20 years. You know, I would argue this is transformational change. We know there's much more work to do. Broadcasting live to the crowd, President Biden broke down his efforts to reduce the burden on black people and boost opportunities for their success. Throughout the week, 10 of Biden's administrators joined talks to touch on topics from wealth to health. With Black Maternal Health Week underway, the National Action Network brought together leaders from Walmart and Planned Parenthood for a panel alongside advocates. We understand the importance of amplifying the messages and the concerns of the community, so we'll always be present and walk this walk. Beyond the disturbing disparities in death rates among black pregnant people, currently three times higher than white parents and growing since the pandemic. Filmmaker Tanya Lewis Lee says the national spotlight on abortion rights disproportionately affects the population as well. We are seeing in real time that we're having poorer outcomes. Founder of doula training program, Mama Glow, Latham Thomas points out black women birthed the origin of the American birthing system. African midwives brought not only the skills of navigating a pelvis and helping to deliver babies, but they also brought root medicine. She says institutionalized health care eliminated the individualized intimacy between parents and their providers. We're confronted with people who don't have any reference point, any context for who we are and think they're going to tell black women things and they need to really listen. President Biden promised he is listening and following Nan's lead. And there's nothing, nothing beyond our capacity when we act together. I'm looking to you for help. I'm looking to you for leadership and I hope you look to me for the same. Saturday completes the convention with the National Action Network welcoming youth for a day of action and discussions to find solutions to the problems facing them. From the Sheridan Times Square, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News.